I walk the demons out. Yo, I think about death every day. 50K on your head. You don't know, you don't never know who's coming. I ain't gonna let step on me. I gotta stay dangerous. You disrespecting my dead homeboy, so now I wanna dish your dead. You get what I'm saying? Out of the blue, oh, you hear shots. I think I got shot. I blanked out, but I can hear my little brother. I say I'm about to die. I put been on my pivot. How could I slip? Jacksonville police have arrested the only surviving of the quadruple shooting. I, this tragedy just happened to me. You got me in the last box from He not letting me go to my brother's film. Know the consequences and the repercussions of the streets. I cry every night before I go to sleep. I might not make it see five years. There's a new wave of rappers that have been steady on the rise in Jacksonville, taking over and putting their city on the map. But no matter how these artists blow up, their street life always seem to tag along and get in the way of their success. True. We've seen so many lives lost, and Jacksonville is overshadowed by the situation between two rival cliques. Young and Ace, ATK, and Julio Fulio's KTA have been leaving a trail of bodies behind their beef, and the body count doesn't seem to be near stopping. With both being shot, near losing their lives, Ace and Fulio's beef are spilling over into their camps, and that's Jacksonville hot. I've got the inside scoop between the camps, and we gonna focus in on the drama Where's and May Lee surrounding Fulio and A. That was crazy. They ain't leaving the, the street shit behind, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now that you making money, you can do better for yourself. Now it's like, yo, I'm gonna just keep the beef where it's at, like, you know? Yeah, this trail of stuff. Yeah, follows. we see it all the time. Let's dig into this rivalry that's terrifying the city of Jacksonville and just who's who in the beef. Youngers have been wildin' in Jacksonville lately, creating a surge of gunplay that has rocketed the side rate in the city. It's in their mind, like, I don't know if the 2000s, baby, really. Like, it's in their mind, they just turned right now, like, I don't know, bro. If they mentality, that shit, shoot first, I don't know, bro. I don't know, Chief Key Wave, I don't know who did it, but he just turned up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the two notable rappers that have been in a highly publicized beef, resulting in multiple lives lost, are Fulio and Ace. Now, Fulio's crew, KTA, stands for kill them all. And well, mm. that's self-explanatory. Ace, on for the real? other hand, is no more subtle in their savagery. His ATK has been rumored to be tied to his name, meaning Ace to kill, with the signature writing, Spade 2X. But word on the street is that his real meaning is aim to kill. These rappers aren't the mm. ones that do the talking for clout. They live that life and had a scars and blood trail to prove it. Now, where did all this start? Young and Ace has been the face of Jacksonville since his debut hit, Go To which showcased the rapper's versatility. Being from the type of lifestyle he came up in, the beefs follow, and the one that cost him many friends, family, and nearly his own life is the one that his crew, ATK, had with KTA. And Fulio, who was also one of Jacksonville's buzzing rappers, was started out as a confusion between two rappers that could have been squashed by a simple conversation became something that engulfed Jacksonville. Damn. For like, the outside people that ain't like, from like Duval and shit, that don't like, this shit ain't what it like. Like, if you ain't from here, you won't know what's going on in the streets of Duval, so shit. You know what's crazy? We from Florida, and I haven't heard nothing like going on in Jacksonville. Like, we don't, we didn't even know this shit was going on with them. Yeah, you have to be out there. You had to know what's going on, because like, I, I like, I, we heard about, you know, other places in Broward or whatever. You know, like where we live at and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But I don't know what's going on with them. Yep, but we notice these patterns. Every section is always the same pattern. Yeah, no matter where you at, pretty much. Yeah. Hey. With that being said, you niggas like ain't nothing. No you always on my mind. I wanna see you. So if y'all just see each other, it'll be cool. The retaliation mm, and dropping that. the bodies on each camp. See? Really? <laughs> Maybe, but some people like to clear their names to make it look. That's like, what you see, but that's what I be saying. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when these rap, they be playing a lot on their mm -hmm. words. They're like, and, and, yeah, yeah, it ain't, it ain't that serious. Nah, and then it's like ten dead bodies, like next mm -hmm. week. Like, but you tell me what? Like, what is? Spark from the banging of Fulio's cousin Zion Brown, which seemed like a planned hit. 18-year-old Zion Brown was the only adult in the home, along with two teens, a nine-year-old and a six-year-old boy. And get this, the trigger puller, DeAndre Thomas was wanted by the cops for a failed robbery with Young and Ace that got Ace seven months in the pen. Zion would be the first recorded fallen victim in the beef that then set things spiraling out of control. The ops would get their get back on ATK. Young and Ace would be the target while celebrating his blood brother, Trayvon Bullers, aka Quan Quan, 18th birthday. 
He telling the oh, gruesome scene. That's what um Fulio was saying mm -hmm. when he said Quan Quan. Oh, mm -hmm. that's what I come. Okay, now every now I see what y'all saying mm -hmm. now. Everything making sense. For his blood brother Quan through the streets, Royale Smith and close friend Jacoby Groover, aka Fo. This is the picture right here that he had at, mm -hmm. on that in that video. That's the three. That's the three of them. Yep. Yo. Yep. Okay. That is crazy. That's crazy. Oh, lost their lives, leaving him with eight bullet wounds. Ace became even more cold. A shooter or shooters on the run after four teens are gunned down to the south side. What we're learning about the men killed in a drive-by shooting. 18-year-old Trayvon Bullard, 19-year-old Jacoby Groover, and 18-year-old yeah. Royale Smith. They lost their lives late last night. Police say the shooter followed the three along with a fourth survivor. Having previously experienced pain from losing both his uncle and another brother he looked up to. My uncle had died when I was like 13, 14. Mm -hmm. What is this? He was like, uh, he was like a daddy with me because my dad was doing 15 years in prison and he was like that. The, the head of our family. You know, you got that one person in that family that just control everything. Matter of fact, hold on. My brother got shot in front of me. That was a big loss. You know what I'm saying? Shit. That was a big, that was the biggest loss I ever, I ever experienced. I ain't gonna speak too much on that, but shit, we, he just got shot though. He shot him, he got shot in front of me though. Shit. Man, that was a big loss though. Ace was going through it. Feeling. Do you know what's crazy? It's almost like these rappers nowadays, they become so desensitized to the killing. Look how he could talk about it. Like it's a, it happens so much to the point. It's like ah, uh, that shit just another kid. You know? Yep. It's Amazing. just another I'm one. I'm lost. I feel like it's my fault. I always feel like that. I'm gonna forever feel like that. Everybody say don't feel like that, but you don't you don't know how it feel. Like damn. It's like everybody on your watch. Like they right here with you. How could you let this happen? To this day, they three faces is inked across his abdomen. Damn. As we seen countless times. He's saying yeah though. Cause you putting yourself in his shoes like you. You know what I mean? When it's lost, and people are like, yo, it's not your fault. But it's like, damn, he's like right here. I'm, you know, it's like, you feel like it's an obligation. I have to watch my people. But then again, it comes with the streets. Once the body starts piling, the beef just keeps escalating Bad. and only catches on to everyone around. Bad. Now, ATK and KTA was in an all out battle at this point. Is that young boy? They may Is that young boy? Yeah, I think it's a chain. Or was it actually young boy? Let me see. Only catches on to everyone around. Now ATK. That's young that, boy? That like yes, young NBA. Boy. Yeah, that's NBA young boy. Oh shit. I was like, yo, who that? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Countless times before, once the body starts piling, the beef just keeps escalating. And only catches on to everyone around. Now ATK and KTA was in an all-out battle at this point. With their main man fighting for his life on a hospital bed. Oh shit, he got hit. I'm trying to hold him. 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 I'm trying to If this don't say enough, y'all, this nigga record himself like getting hit. Like this nigga in a hospital. This shit real. Man, this ain't no joke. This is why, like, yo, when it comes to shit like this, y'all, we don't be smiling about this shit. Like, Niggas really out here getting gunned down. This nigga recording me at the hospital. Shit crazy. I'm like, I got you, bro. I got you. He like, grab a shirt. I'm like, bro, I can't. He tell me, can't move. I jump out the car. Go, 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 go. Call him. He had been shot eight times, and I believe at that point we had three or four or eight bullets inside of him still. Um, considering he really needed to go to a hospital. Because he didn't have insurance, the hospital wouldn't take the bullets out of him. Oh, so while hell. he was in cut. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. I'm not going to take the bullets out. Because he have no insurance? Damn. But I thought there's like laws where it doesn't matter if the person don't have insurance, you still got to take them. Oh, dang. I thought in the emergency room, they're like, yo, do what they got to do. Shit from different in Jacksonville? <laughs> no, but I thought, nah, I don't know if I'm tripping or not, but I thought when you go in the emergency room, they don't have time to, to, to see. Did you fill out the, the form so completely well? They will, they will make you fill out the form, but they will send you straight to the room and start working. That's what, something not making sense. So, the fact so you that, gonna let a nigga die? So they can say, oh, we're not taking it out until the shit process. Yo, this is wild. It was really became that part. It, it was the responsibility of the sheriff's office to make sure he got the medical care he needed. Sheriff's office didn't give him medical care. They didn't give him antibiotics. And they basically just 
left him in there. ATK was slipping slowly. Fulio took the opportunity to taunt his ops and make light of Ace's fallen brothers and homies. Royale. Royale Smith. I don't know, I felt something fishy about that. I think they wanted Buddy to go out. They wanted, I don't know, it looked like you need an excuse. Oh, hey, we can't do nothing, I'm sorry. Because remember, you got one of the biggest rival game. You got him and Fulio. You know, they have the city hot. So I'm thinking that people just say, you know what? Not they might want, oh, I, They need man. someone to knock off. That's what, it's, that's what it's looking like. I don't know, this bad, guys. Because why bad. would you ignore someone's medical help? Like, yeah. I don't get that. Yeah, <laughs> wow. This is wow. This that 4X. Who else that is? Quack, quack. Da, da, da. Ace caught wind of Fulio's antics while recovering, yeah. got out of the hospital, mm. dropped a freestyle. Laying in the hospital bed, they shots to my body and on my mind and my brothers. They say, them three didn't make it. Tears full of pain, no other way I can take it. And got on Fulio's head and his KTA ops for talking sideways about the loss of his bros. Don't f They be riding this to the gate and You know that kill my brother, boy. Stop that. Kill my brother, so don't let them tell you that. You think you didn't kill my brother? You didn't want to meet that shit next time? They better stop that shit. Y'all better stop for y'all motherfucking eyes up. Rappers, just like these man. These nigga ain't gonna play with me. Ain't no nigga. I ain't no play with me, bro. Real life, real I ain't gonna play with me, but I'm about my shit. I'm about my business. And Fulio mm. being the Jacksonville Grim Reaper, double. But you know what's just as crazy? It's like they both diss each other, you know? Like they both talk about dead ops. They both do it. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's almost like the beef is stuck pretty much at this point. Cause you get on, you talk about his dead op and he talk, it's like, mm -hmm. where's it going? You know the streets, if you in the streets and you grown, like, you know what the consequences are, you dead or you in jail. Oh, well, people realize that too late till a nigga dead though, like, you feel me? People just felt like I was wrong. So really, all this out here thugging, you know the consequences if something yeah. happened to you. Sure. That's how I took it. You know what I'm saying? I said what I said. Um, but time proved this to not. See, he said he take the consequences. He said he knows what he's in. He take the consequences for whatever shit. Like if even if it's a loss or just that getting shot at. But then he said some people go into it forgetting that when it's too late. That's you know right. what I'm saying? At the that's, same time, like this shit ain't sweet. Like that's, that's right. You know, people dying, man. That's right. Not be the best decision he can make. If we learn anything from these street beefs, is what? Don't disrespect nobody's fallen homies. Fact. That continues to be one of the main Real. reasons beef gets spun out of control Fact. and turn a situation into an endless cycle of gunplay. Real. You disrespecting my dead homeboy, so now I want to dish your dead. You get what I'm saying? Real. So it'd be like a little tip for tax shit like that. Fulio and his gang seem to have the upper hand and continue pressing ATK. This is where things got even more dicey. Turns out, a rapper by the name of Willie Addison, aka Boss Goon, got shot up after leaving the Paradise Club with relatives where he just performed at the club. Guess oh, two or three shit. cars pull up on the side of us, shot inside our car over a hundred times, killed my son in the front seat, shot my son in the back, in the, in the head three times, shot my nephew several times, a couple shit, more passengers man. in there were shot. So the dad seen all this shit go down. That's what well, he said, guess, my son. But I'm saying you probably reciting after it happened. Damn. Probably, he probably wasn't there, but he probably he know like, damn, what's name was sitting here. He said after a show. Yeah, they were doing a show. Fuck, man. It's like the beef. It, it's, it's like this beef followed him everywhere. You think you're gonna do this show and come home? See, that's the thing is you're not you're not coming home. So one thing is what's so dangerous about being a rapper and in the streets is because like you you gotta make money and you gotta go to shows. So if you gotta go to shows, you gotta be on flyers. Therefore people know your date, your time, yeah, where you're gonna be at in an event. But it is and if you don't show up, yeah. you you're gonna look like a punk. You do show up, you'd risk in your life. You know what I mean? It's a lot of it's a lot. But one thing too is like 
that's why people say you can't do the street shit and rap at the same time. You can't incorporate it's both. It's tough. I ain't you know, know, like even Montana 300, he speak on that a lot. Yeah, it's if tough. you listen to his rap songs, like you can't do both because then again, niggas know where you at 24 seven. Right. You got you got social media, right. you know you you got ops watching your every and then, move. And then if you if you're an artist that also you dissing the dead for your ops. Oh, forget it. it it's 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 <laughs> it's up that that it's, it's. But you know, I feel like like he said, that's where the shit really draws the line. Like like he said, he said once you start dissing the dead, that's it. that beef is stuck. That shit's there. We seen all the time niggas on live this and the dead and they smoked out the next like come on. It's, it is bad. Like come on, you that's why this game. That's why when we when we hear the songs and stuff, we're like, oh Shit man, this ain't well. good. This ain't a good ending. We already know how it goes. This ain't a good ending. Oh, several times, numerous of times, and I drove all the way from there to Memorial Hospital. Shot in the back myself twice. He was oh, there. He was there. You're totally right. He was there. Shit. So you see your you saw the dad. He shot up himself too. So it's like the whole yeah, fam. Yeah. You got son, cousin. Ooh. Like, come on. Oh. The whole fam there. Whole fam inside that. Oh shit. To be the brother and family members of Ace's right hand man and shooter, oh, K Sue. This dude don't care. And we'll find out why I say that soon. Six people total sustained injuries, including Kesu's dad, Abdul Robinson. But his brother, Boss Goon, Man. didn't make it. Boss wow. was only out for a couple months from a 10-year sentence. Kesu already plotting revenge on his mind, got the perfect chance to exact retribution alongside his father, carrying out a hit on rapper Charles McCormick, a.k.a. KTA Lil Buck, who was drilled in Arlington during a daytime ambush in the shopping plaza. Both Kesu and his father Set news outlets and hip hop sites on fire with the father son hit that up the score what? for eight. Father and son went on a hit together. He said that shit was all over the place. Ain't that the same guy that was just talking? Shh. Yeah, he out here, bro. Because he's trying to get revenge for what That's happened what to his, you know, shot. his family. He just got shot. He lost his son. Whole family was. Come on. Yeah, they're going to come out. That's that get back. They're going to get back. Come on. Can't blame them. They're going to they're gonna do it. It's going to happen. Great. Dang. Okay. Developing now, a father and son have been arrested in connection with a deadly shooting at an Arlington oh, shopping shit. center. 21 year old Hakeem Robinson and his father, 49 year old Abdul Robinson, are both in the Duval County Jail. Dang. Now, let's pause a bit to talk about Ace's shooter, K Sue. If his name sounds familiar, he was the rapper that made international news for placing his lost ops on his album cover. Yep, you heard that right. Dude what? don't give two Fs. This album cover... It hurts my heart, like, to see my son on there as a joke. But wait, there is a great... Damn. He put all of them on his album cover? Mm -hmm. This man don't give a... Yeah. But then again, let's be real. Like, there's no, rules there's no rules when, when it comes to the street shit. Yep. Like, you know, all is fair at war. That, that's what they, yep. I don't know. There's man. no limit. There's no limit. They go crazy. They go crazy. The significance in this, if you pay attention to the subliminal diss to ATK, this in itself was an act of disrespect that hit home for Fulio because many of the names were a reference to his fallen KTA homies, like Dirk, Zion, and his homie Bibi Osama, and gunfire erupts inside a northwest side apartment complex. It leaves this 16-year-old dead. Who Ace and them constantly disrespected online after deleting him. Mm, now it's making sense. Mr. BB. Now you see, oh man. Now it's making sense. Mm -hmm. But look at the age though. Notice what these boys that are dying. Look at the age. Young, young heads, man. You got 16, you know, you got come four, on. You got 14, like, up. These are kids, bro. They ain't never going to make it to C21 at this rate. You ain't never going to make it. Bad, man. They say dangerous or dangerous. Smoke, boo, dinky, boo, I smoke, ooh, la, na, na, na. And tell the folks that's how I rap when Osama died. Call them up. That's your baby cremated ass. We whip their ass out. I run that gym, bro. They cremated, man. 
Wow. <laughs> this wound cut deep for Fulio, releasing his tribute track Bibby Story to his close friend that became a notable record from the KTA rapper. Oh, Bibby, that's my little brother. Yeah, I died and shit. Uh, that shit, that song, no, that, that was like a tribute, a testimony to him. I lost him, I was like one of the last niggas he was with before he, he passed and shit like that. K Su pours salt in the wound with his disgustingly disrespectful diss track, K Su, detailing scenes from the hit. And you know we smoke the The bodies just kept stacking up, mm. but the beef show no sign of slowing down between Fulio's KTA and Ace's ATK. Soon, just as Ace felt was wet up, Fulio got a brush with the grave when a bullet grazed his skull in an attempt on his life. Damn. Bitch, uh, shot me, but then killed me. I'm Kendra. But you know, you know this was crazy. Hmm. You got Ace in the hospital. He got eight bullets in him. This nigga got grazed by a bullet. Yeah. Hit his skull. He's in the hospital. And he, it's like almost, you're looking at the same shit. This is crazy. Is that crazy? This is crazy. This, man. But it's, it's, it's sad because it's like, yo, it's these not, niggas don't ha give a damn about living. Yeah, it's not going to stop. But they don't even give a damn about living. They see this as like a scoreboard where yeah. it's like you knock one of mine, I'm knocking ten of yours. Mm -hmm. Like, so how are you gonna find peace in this shit? There's no peace in it. Shit, keep going. Not, not at this rate. It's ongoing. It's crazy. Stupid. <laughs> and when he survived and they couldn't finish the job, they later banged on his girl, nearly taking her life as well. Y'all thought I was dead. Yeah, I seen up score just yet. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Girl got shot. Nah. Oh. Oh. Nah. And then you're on live, you ain't up to score yet. But she even... She got shot, and then she's like, hey, you ain't do it. She poking him. That reminds yeah. me of that Kodak situation. She's saying, oh, y'all ain't really... Y'all ain't do it. Nah, come on. You, your girl getting shot. Man, this shit foul. Y'all, this shit foul. This again. <laughs> but wait, though. I'm not gonna stop. But notice how, like... There's no limit to this shit. Yeah, no, stop. They, they, they knocking off family. They knocking off girlfriend. Yeah, I'm laughing. So you can knock off a kid. Oh, they know. There's no limits for There's them. There's no limits to this shit, y'all. No limits for them. No limits oh, for them. Shit, shit. this shit. is wild. They going crazy. By this point, both camps have already lost so much. And it is kind of it's dangerous to be the the girlfriend of the person because now they're like, oh, you attached to him. So if I catch you slipping, you want it. Just the man. This. I, I have no words for this shit, y'all. No, but the way she laughing is like she she cool with it. She well, she accepted this life. Like once shit. you accepted dating him, you accepted everything that comes with that. That shit's real. Like it's just what it is. Damn, bro. Damn. And with people close to them, but no matter how much their music got more attention and their fame kept rising. The street mentality was just rooted too deep to let go and move on. Damn. After having an attempt on his life where he narrowly survived, Ace was again the target while at the Waycross Hotel where he was staying while in the area for a performance. He got away unscathed this time, but one of his homies was injured and the other was added to KTA's scoreboard. You see? Look how he's saying scoreboard, scoreboard. just like we said. Like that, it's a game to these niggas. Yeah. Scoreboard. Like, living don't mean nothing for these, like... Like, you don't even have a respect just for life, bro. Nope. To the point, like, you calling it a scoreboard. Like, you just don't give a damn. All I know is Satan is having a filled day, bro. Because this is this is what Satan wants to happen. Because everybody's going on evil mode. Like, this is bad. This but, is bad. But I find it crazy how it's in every hood. It's almost like... Copy paste. Folks, like... Folks are cursed out here in these it's streets. A, it's a real curse. Like, this shit going on in Chicago. This shit going on in New York. It's, it's going real, out in Florida. It's a real curse. It's going out in the UK. This shit all over the place. It's a real curse. This shit, wow. Day shooting, a group of men, including rapper Young and Ace, were near the pool when they were shot at, according to police. Fulio couldn't wait for a chance to jump at the opportunity. Continuing to mock Ace and his ATK hitman, k Su, lost homies, Only to find himself losing two more of his KTA comrades, 
Spaz 2X, and Rod K, one day after the next, after it appeared, Rod K would pull through. It's like an endless back and forth, man. Yeah, one strong. moment KTA is laughing, the next ATK. Truth is, no one has the last laugh when it comes to beat. Just pain and falling homies. But Ace and his right-hand man, ATK Kesu, had to go tit for tat. Clown and Fulio. You know what's crazy? Like he said, no one really have the last laugh. Because you got people, you got people falling on both sides. You got niggas dying on my side, niggas dying on your side. Yep. This beef is really not going to stop. Well, the numbers just going to keep going up. Yeah, it's a real war. So when these people are saying, oh, I'm, they boosting the murder rate, these people are not capping for real, bro. Not a joke, bro. They are not capping. Not capping. We're losing two more members. Hey, since the mom sent ass back the same way, back in the box, talking about, you got to check the fucking scope. You need to check the fucking scope. Fulio took it in stride, posting up a single message before going right back to resuming the beat. This time, taking things a step further, aiming for Ace's shooter, Kesu, who the cops caught on to and locked up by this time for the hit on Lil Buck. Fulio made fun of his arrest and even dragged his pops into the beat and exposed Kesu, posting receipts of his sister rocking with his set, as well as Kesu repping for Fulio. Dang. With his sister, he said? He said his sister was rocking with his set. So he's like, sister Why with that the ops. Why remind me of that? Um, mm -hmm. Man, yeah. this shit gets deeper and deeper every time, bro. Mm -hmm. That's, you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Before he jumps sides to Ace. I gotta get more comeback. Final. How? Oh. Happy birthday. Look at Fully old recording. Wow, that's crazy. It's always the same thing we see with these vids. Dudes always friends turned enemies. Yeah, Dudes was talented that's and bad. really putting Jacksonville on the map, but slowly drawing new rappers like Spot 'em Got 'em and Jay the Youngin into the beef. Oh shit. You nigga, niggas ain't never. You niggas ain't never putting no work. You niggas just be rapping on the mic. I don't just rap. I don't talk about other niggas life on my mic. Be me. You niggas. Spot 'em Got 'em. Oh shit. What? He beefing with Spot. He's bringing him into his beef. Yeah, probably have some stuff in the streets. Because he don't, he's he say he don't cap in his rapping. Well, as you can see, he can't cap. So if he say he got a problem with Spot, I don't know what's going on in that street. This nigga Spot. Hold on, hold on. Hey, we gotta this, see. Let's uh, play. This, this deep. This is crazy. Hold on. Shit, you not on shit. Set for eight. You from out of town, but now you on that list. Heard you got a baby on the way, cause you ride eight. Got your chain snatched in Gainesville. But we'll address that in a separate vid. For now, we'll keep our eye on how things turn out and trust. I'm going to update you with the latest info. It's getting crazier and crazier in Jacksonville. The way things is going, the OGs of ATK and KTA might be gone if this keep up. But man, but shit, that's it for this video. Let me know what you want to see in the upcoming video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm out, y'all. Yeah, but you know what's crazy, like we've been saying? The only way for the beef to stop is everyone gets knocked off on both sides. That's the sad part about it. That's sad the, it's story. the sad truth. I'm going to agree with y'all. Sad story. Like he just said. He said that's the only way for this to stop. Because at the end of the day, you dissing his dad up. He dissing your dad up. There's, so, there's no truth to talk about it. Yeah, from, there's no truth. There is no talk about it. It's like you said. It has to be. Nobody Niggas ain't shaking. Like Niggas that. don't even want to sit at the table and, and talk that shit out. Niggas don't want to talk it out. Nah, this is too far. It's it's rooted in too deep. It's and they don't they don't want to stop it the rate they going. Nah, it's too deep. Man. Way too deep. Oh. Oh. Live in color fam. We is out.